Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this one's a very exciting one, I've been planning this for absolutely ages. I'm here with Fian, say hi. Hi. <laughs> and we are about to go on a road trip. We're starting in London, heading out to the Peak District, and I've just been delivered my car. Have a look. Here it is. This is the Outlander PHEV and um, it's probably the fanciest car I've ever driven in my entire life. It's a hybrid which is what I absolutely love about it and this is what it looks like. <laughs> Fian will be sitting this side, I'll be sitting that side <laughs> for obvious reasons eh? <laughs> Pretty sure and it's very fancy pants. Here is all of our stuff. So we are gone for mm, it's Thursday today. We're gone until Tuesday. Um, so I've brought a whole load of stuff. We're gonna be hiking and we're gonna be running. Um, we're doing a 10K race. I'm just gonna take you along to the whole thing really. So um, see you in the car. We are off. We are still in London, of course. Um, but uh, just thought I'd give a little bit of a introduction to what it's like driving the car since I have some idea but very little because I only drove it for maybe like uh, half an hour uh, a few weeks ago. So Fian, as someone who drives a lot of cars in your everyday life, um, or one car a lot, um, how do you feel about this car? It's good. It's very smooth, a lot smoother than I was expecting. It's the first, well, first hybrid that I've ever driven and we're just driving purely on the battery at the moment. So we did have a bit of a stupid moment where for five minutes we sat there trying to figure out how to turn the engine on and then it was, it was on, it's an electric motor, it doesn't make a noise. Yeah, we're just sitting there in silence being like, I think it's off, I think it doesn't work. And then obviously they just don't make a noise when um, they're electric. So that was very exciting. That was yeah, that was like a good 15 minutes. Straight down. In our posh car. You can handle anything. We have just arrived at the hotel and it is absolutely exactly what I'm looking for, having just driven about four hours to get here. Um, little tour, here is the bathroom. Um, it is absolutely stunning. So this is a spa hotel, so obviously you'd expect it to be kind of like pretty cool and relaxing. Um, and that's exactly what we want. This is our bed, four poster bed. Absolutely huge. They've called this one the bridal suite, which I think that Fian actually planned. Did you? <laughs> Did you plan? <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's horses, right? Horses, yes. Bridles everywhere. Um, and this is all of my crap. Cool. We've just had breakfast at Modishal Oaks and we were going to use the gym afterwards, but then we thought, what's almost the same as the gym? The hot tub. So we are now just having a bit of a hot tub set. I don't know if you can see there, but uh, Fian is very much in the hot tub and enjoying it. It's so nice out here. Just look at that. Yes, please. It is such a beautiful day here um, and we're just headed across this little stream and up a place called Stanage Edge which um, loads of you guys recommended so we're gonna go check it out and it's probably gonna be absolutely freezing. Rousley and um, we are at the Peacock where we are having dinner and staying overnight and then tomorrow we are headed up to Mam Tor which was recommended by pretty much everyone who knows the area. Are you excited? 
I am. The Shivering Mountain, I hear. Shivering Mountain, exactly. Um, which apparently is so cool because it falls down quite a lot. So um, we look forward to that. But first of all, dinner. Dinner? Dinner. Necessary. Dinner. It's happening. It is day two? Three, technically. It is day three in the Big Brother household. Very excited to be hiking up some mountains in a minute. Are you excited? I am. Very excited. I'm not at all excited, but we're about to register now, and then we will be taking part. The whole thing you'll win the 10 mile, accidentally. <laughs> I'm definitely not racing the 10 mile. Papa, how do you feel about this? You know what? Thank you very much. I'll tell you in about 10 k's time. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours, you mean? <laughs> Two hours. Two hours. <laughs> We just finished, how do you feel? I feel disgusting. Martin Douglas. But I came third in my category. <laughs> and what in your gender? Third in my gender. Oh, Pretty man. damn good. Oh, hundreds yeah. of people starting. So happy. I'm oh, very impressed. Cool. I got mulled wine. Oh, so I'm happy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I have collapsed onto the bed because after this morning's 10k I am blooming exhausted but we um, have been shown around the hotel and shown to our beautiful room which I'll do a tour of in a second and we're headed straight to the spa ASAP. Um, let me give you a little tour of the room. We've dumped our stuff everywhere so I do apologise. Okay, let's see. This is our beautiful little room. I previously stayed in the Fish, which is part of the same Farncombe estate, and um, they've got a lot of things in common. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. And then if you go this way, there is, of course, a coffee machine. Our bathroom, which is huge, as with all of their hotels. Um, and there's a fan that comes free with the room. <laughs> And this is just the whole room. I mean, it's absolutely humongous. And an amazing selfie mirror. This is gonna be a good stay. I cannot wait. station where we're going to be picking up Kaylee Osanov. 
<laughs> interrupting me as ever. She's so rude. So rude. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go pick up Kaylee, who's a friend of mine and also an excellent photographer. Um, we'll be doing some photos in the glorious English weather that is rain. We'll be shooting all day at Dormy House, um, which has been so beautiful so far and thankfully has a lot of nice indoor stuff because I do not want to be outdoor in this weather. See you later. morning um there's mist rolling over everything and as you can see it's super bright sorry i can't actually see anything um <laughs> and um so we're going to cheddar gorge now i'm here with kaylee say hi hey. she's <laughs> focusing on driving which is probably good because we're on a lot of country roads at the moment um yeah so we're gonna be shooting outdoors this morning and then um headed back to london final leg of the trip which will be really sad but happy to get back to my own bed <laughs> at the moment after an amazing sleep last night at Cadbury House um, we had an amazing day of shooting today at Cheddar Gorge which is just around the corner um, obviously I forgot to take my camera up there um, got too distracted for the amazing views and have no videos for you but I'm gonna insert some photos in here because they're just absolutely insane and Kaylee <laughs> has done an amazing job of <laughs> photographing, just capturing the amazing light there. Um, I've said amazing too many times, but really it was <laughs> spectacular. Um, so yeah, and head over to my blog and also to my Instagram if you'd like to see some more images. Um, and I will put as many of them as I can in my blog post as well, which I will link below. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and that this has given you some inspiration of other staycations that you can do in the UK. It really is very easy and super cheap. Um, we've really enjoyed our car as well. So if you are thinking of getting a new one, you'd like to do something that's a little more eco-friendly, I can thoroughly recommend um, the Outlander PHEV um, from Mitsubishi. I think that's it. Um, that is me done probably for the next two weeks. Um, and I will see you next time. Lots of love, bye. Mwah.